Okay, so talk. The studios. So, what do you make, and what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wow, this place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Hammer? The victim, dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Can you tell me about Mr. Willpower? He's not a bad kid. Don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on a silver screen without it, believe me. The little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Reason for suspicion. Why are you so certain Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when I found the body. Now, the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an accident during the filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break under that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. Once more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make a good cry. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. Hmm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Okay, so let's move back down to the detention center. Hello, how is the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? N no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. So, talk. Security lady. Um, about the security guard at the main gate of the studio. Oh, the security lady. She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs in the studio. But let her see stumble once and she'll never let him on you. She's got some nerve. Do you think you could write a letter, or write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. You can get that into the record. So let's talk about your alibi. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I'd never do that. Just now you said you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady, you said she saw you that day. She said she, she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business, but I need every advantage I can get. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. But I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. So let's move back to the studio. Present... Letter. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. To think he would entrust his fate to the use of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass, but only left from here towards the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal, for my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? 
There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece! Thank you! Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! <laughs> okay, let's move to Outside Studio One. Hey, aren't you that moiterer from the other day? Ah, it's that confused detective. Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset. It's all your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, no, I... I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go saying a pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right. Okay, so talk. The investigation. So how's your investigation going, Detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little in more indirect with your questions. Right, so, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other, uh, no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my bed, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Powers said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? Besides evidence. What kind of evidence? Well, Dan, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai headed toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up on the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of him. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny, for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look, so, don't look so happy when you say that. Oh ho ho ho! Um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha ha ha! I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We've got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. So let's move to the main gate. Nick, look. That security lady's in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all the cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you. Well, are you satisfied Fires is guilty yet? She had to make his life harder by giving that photo to Detective Gumshoe. So talk. Photographic proof. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left from here. Or from here is the gate with the camera that took that photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. 
About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? When it snap then it snaps a photo. Apparently it records the time when it takes a picture too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. So let's move to the employee area. 